guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malin. If you're new here, welcome. Okay, so today I'm going to show you my favorite products from the drugstore. And I think it's few things in life that gets me more excited than when I find affordable, amazing makeup. Really, really. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you my top six products. And if you want to check out my top six high-end products, you can check the video right here. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start with this one. This is the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. And this is so good. It's one of the best, like, light coverage foundations that I have tried, really. And, and it's just so gorgeous. It's so easy to apply and it feels like a light moisturizer on the skin. It's so, so nice. I have this one in the shade Vanilla. Let me see. So yeah, it's hard to show you kind of the products when I'm not showing you on my face. But if you want to see how this one works, you can also check out my uh testing out mixed products here that i did a while back because that's when i discovered this one but yeah if you want an affordable light coverage foundation which gives like really nice glow check out this one i don't think that you will be disappointed it's so good really 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 good <laughs> so this one retails for ten dollars on alta which i think it's a really good price for what you're getting because it, you don't feel like, it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your skin. And at the same time, you get a little coverage and a lot of glow and just an even flawless face. So really, really good, really good. The next product is also a foundation. And this is from Wet n Wild and this is the Photo Focus foundation. I have this in the shade Soft Beige. And this is one of the best high coverage foundations that I have ever tried. It covers everything and it it looks amazing on the skin. I seriously can't believe that this one retails for $6.50 on Ulta. Isn't that crazy? That's nothing. And this one is so nice, so good. Um, this one is the regular version. I see that they also have gotten a dewy version. So if you want more of that dewy glowy skin, you can try that one instead. But yeah, I really like this one for my skin. I have a bit more oilier skin. I think I can say that this one is the best full coverage foundation that I have ever tried. The best, this one. So if you want a foundation that is more full coverage than the next one, and this one is also more matte, this one is for you. And what is so nice about drugstore makeup is that it's it's not that scary to try new things because they don't cost as much. For example, my Guerlain foundation that cost almost $70. That is <laughs> scarier to try out than this one that's costing almost $7. That's crazy. Test out this one. This is so nice. It doesn't smell really good. But the scent doesn't linger, it goes away really fast, so yeah. The next product is from Maybelline, and that is, of course, my beloved eraser concealer. This, I seriously, I don't know how many of these I've had. This one is pretty empty now. <laughs> so this one is going into the empties bin. But yeah, that one is amazing. It doesn't have the highest coverage, but it covers well enough and it has a very natural finish. So you feel, you don't feel like dry and crusty under the eyes or whatever, wherever you use it. You just feel like fresh and awake and it's, mm, it's so nice. And I really love to kind of mix this with my higher coverage concealers. For example, I will go in first with the Huda Beauty concealer, which is very high coverage and matte and tap that out and then go in with the eraser concealer to kind of bring back some glow and it also reflects the light better so you look more awake 
love that. Or if I'm going for a more natural makeup day, I can use that one alone. That's perfect. And this concealer retails for $9.99 on Ulta, which is not a bad price at all, but it just... It's weird to me that these two cost the same, if you know, but Maybelline is probably a more expensive drugstore brand than NYX and Wet n Wild. Next up is another NYX product and that is the Worthy Hype Mascara. This is... Mm, this has become one of my favorite mascaras. It's so nice. It has a really fluffy brush. It's really easy to apply and mm, yeah, it's it's so good. <laughs> uh, I have only used this like tester travel size. So if that doesn't count, I have another <laughs> favorite from NYX. This one is the Under Eyes Volume Lift Scara. This one is also really good at separating the lashes and giving kind of that both length and volume. Kind of cheated here. These ones are one favorite. <laughs> so the Worthy Hype mascara retails for $8 on Ulta, which I think it's a really nice price. And especially for what you get, it's so good. And this one also comes in other colors. So you can get it in brown, blue, and purple. So if you want to do something crazy <laughs> or if you want a brown for more natural days i believe those are really nice as well and the other next mascara retails for 825 it's a bit more expensive i don't know why but it has a more fancy one so probably that so yeah both of these are really nice they both give length and volume i Personally, I like this one better, but before I tried this one, I liked this one the best, so <laughs> they are really good, both of them. And the last two products are from Physicians Formula, and these, as you know, are my very long time favorites. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, this is in the Natural Bronzer shade, and then you have the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula, which you might already know <laughs> is in nude silk this mm, is so good but i don't know if that is what it's called anymore because i have posted some pics with this one on instagram and when physicians formula repost them they call it raisin something but yeah at least this one is called nude silk and this one is perfection i use this almost every day it's a staple. I can't use other blushes. <laughs> this just feels so natural. It gives a very like healthy flush to the cheeks. And I also love to use this one as uh, eyeshadow. <laughs> and the butter bronzer. This one is one of the few bronzers. It's only this one and the hula bronzer from Benefit that I have hit pan on. And that is saying a lot because yeah the only two in my whole life i think so i really recommend this one if you want a new bronzer or blush <laughs> this one both of these are so easy to apply and they don't get like powdery when you dig into them i will show you so yeah you can go in really hard and it doesn't fly powder everywhere and it's almost like hard to over apply it. So this one is really nice if you are just getting into makeup or if you, like me, have a heavy hand with bronzers. So I love using this one for every day when I'm kind of in a rush because then I tend to be more heavy handed with my makeup. So this one saves me. And it's the same thing with this one. It has the same kind of formula. So this one is also really easy to apply, it's not too powdery, it's hard to get those clown cheeks, you know? Uh, so this one is also a winner. Winner winner chicken dinner. And the Butter Blush retails for $13.50 on Ulta, which is 
more than I thought, but I guess Physicians Formula is a higher priced drugstore brand and the Butter Bronzer retails for $15.99 on Ulta. So yeah, so I feel like these three, the Physicians Formula products and the Maybelline products are the more expensive products and probably the more expensive brands and NYX and Wet n Wild are on the cheaper side. I think all the brands are really good and have really good makeup. Some are more expensive and some are more affordable. You just have to kind of see for yourself what you are willing to spend. But yeah guys, these are my six slash seven favorite products from the drugstore. I really hope that you liked this video and if you have tried any of these products, let me know how you feel about them and how you feel about drugstore makeup and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Thank <laughs> you.